Hey guys, this is Patrick. This video is for Objective C1 within the May 2012 class, week three. So, um, just answering a couple of the questions. You know, what did I do for the project? Um, uh, the project was just, you know, running through the various functions and the calls to those functions that we had to create. So, you know, creating the um, added function or the add function, com the compared function. Um, putting two strings together, appending the strings together function, um, and then also putting these um, into UI alert views. So there's nothing really fancy about it, um, and there wasn't a story. It was just kind of creating these functions. So uh, explain how you used function separation to logically separate your application flow. Um, I, so what I did is I put everything in the, the did or view did load um, function within the viewcontroller.m file. Um, then from there, I then created other functions, the add function, the um, append strings function, um, the compare function, um, to actually separate those functions, and then the calls for those functions were within the view did load function. Um, so I guess if that answers that question, that's how I did it. However, you will be able to see by looking at my code and kind of getting into or jumping ahead, you know, what do I think I could have done better is my code seems very sloppy. Um, I feel like, and maybe it's just the fact that I, d I don't know how to read the code all that quickly. I mean, I, I guess with JavaScript, I got to be very good at reading it a lot better. Right now, um, me being able to actually read effectively Objective-C uh, code is, is it's not just coming to me very easily. So when I look at my code, I feel that it's really sloppy, and it obviously hurts me when I'm trying to do my own stuff uh, and trying to figure out what I need to do next. So um, anyway, that jumped ahead. But anyway, list a few things that you could use some more clarification on. Um, so I was a little lost this week compared to the past two weeks. Um, when I look at my code, it's all jumbled together. Um, I felt when I started this week, I was really thrown for a loop when I first started the, watching the videos. I didn't, I, I was like completely thrown off. I was like, where did we jump into this? I, I felt like I missed something. Um, I did realize that some of the videos were, uh, seemed like switched. Like the first video I should have watched was listed second and the second video was listed first. So, I mean, when I just go in there, I just go by order. Um, and that was a little bit of it. Um, but I definitely, I was just kind of thrown back and I didn't know exactly where to go. And I, I was kind of, I hit a wall initially. Um, then, I mean, when we jumped into the, the return, um, the, the function videos and the return videos, which was the first ones, and talking about the view controller and the app delegate files, I'm still a little confused as to how they all mesh together. I, I don't quite get it. Um, I know we're using the viewcontroller.m file for the majority of everything, throwing the functions that we've created into the viewcontroller.h file um, so that we can call those functions. It just doesn't all line up to me yet. I don't really completely get it. Um, and then what else? Um, I, I guess that was, I, I'm still having a hard time grasping everything from this past week. The first two weeks weren't too bad. This week was a little bit more challenging. Always, we're adding more concepts on top of what we previously learned, and again, it's it's just I, I'm not quite to the level, and it's kind of like when we started JavaScript, I'm just not quite getting everything quite yet. Um, what I could have done better, I already kind of said, you know, making my code code cleaner. Um, also, just with the week that I had, um, I didn't get into look into other resources quite much, like Linda, um, as well as looking at the book. Um, so I, I feel like those could have definitely helped me. Um, I was looking online for some assistance uh, with a few things, but I wasn't reading chapters. I wasn't looking at videos specifically. It was more of um, you know, Overstack and what people have said about appending the two strings together, whatever it might have been. Um, so I know I could have done that better, too. It was just looking at other resources to help me, because I know that's helped me a lot in the past. Um, so that's it. I, I got everything to more or less work. There was one little snag when I'm loading the overall application. One of my, I think it's my append, my string append um, alert box pops up very quickly then goes away. Then immediately, then the not, next alert or UI alert view pops up. It allows me to actually click OK to go to the next one to the next one. But that first one 
pops up, goes away, and I think it has something to do with the way my code has actually worked. So, anyway, that is it, and um, looking forward to week four. Thanks.